Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. Rafi's Rambles. So one of the interesting things about uh, being an artist when you're like putting pictures out there, like I had a picture of myself that I put on social media finishing up a piece this morning. And uh, really today there hasn't been much art going on because we have orders that are going out. And I think that a lot of times when uh, people are thinking about becoming an artist or something like that, they're picturing these days just sitting in front of the canvas, which of course... There's a lot of that. There is a lot of creation. The Most days you get to sit there and create stuff. But when you are running a business uh, of art, there are days like today where, A, I woke up this morning and am feeling the most sore that I have ever felt. And this is what the studio looks like right now as we are getting stuff ready for packaging. It looks like Christmas except in the workshop of the elves yeah not not like good christmas like like the studio just exploded in uh packaging it's true we've got four there two there one here and like four or five ones over there i mean it's funny because i'm not i'm not gonna complain but like this is this is just you know you know that feeling of claustrophobia that you get from looking around and you're like ugh. Like, I almost don't want to touch any of these things. So what's interesting about today is that I have this uh, commission piece that I'm working on. It's the portrait that I was telling you guys that I was struggling a little bit with. And she's starting to really, really come along now, which is fantastic. She has been a little bit of a challenge. And because she's been a little bit of a challenge for me, it's kind of backed up everything else that I'm working on. So as an artist, uh, what's interesting about today is that most of my work has been packaging artwork creating boxes for some of these because i ran out of boxes because i didn't order them posting the podcast um but also all morning it's been like checking responding to emails uh this morning early in the morning somebody had a hard time ordering something on on our website so like they ordered instead of ordering it once they ordered it three times for some reason so then i had to like fix that and issue refunds and uh you know fix things on the website and it's just been a full day of doing everything other than sitting down and working on this commission and we also have an audiobook commentary that we're recording and yeah hello hello you want to get in here let me move some of this stuff i know <laughs> everywhere it's it's a, it is everywhere it's driving me crazy it's so messy in here there's oh. like confetti over there oh it's so Random messy it's driving me crazy it is quite messy I guess i wanted to share this with you guys because i think a lot of times uh for people that want to get started in a career one of the things that uh, a lot of artists don't tell them is that there's all this other stuff that goes on like you're running a business and unless you actually enjoy the process of even the tedious stuff that is going on, um, I, I think that you have unrealistic expectations of what to expect, right? Of the day-to-day. -day. Of the day-to-day, -day, yeah. I think the other side of that is some days you have like super high ambitions, like I'm going to ship these out in the morning and then I'm going to do this after that and then I'm going to do this when I'm done with that and then I'm going to do this when I'm done with that and it turns out that it takes you like all day just to do the packaging. Yeah. And sometimes that has to be good enough. Yeah, yeah, you know what, that's a good point because I think along with all this stuff, like a lot of times, like today, I, I had an ambitious day planned for myself, mm -hmm. but it's it's already late in the evening. We got all that stuff, you know, fixing the website right from the get-go. There was the stuff with the order and like all these other things that had to be taken care of. And mm -hmm. next thing I know, by the time I was done with those things, it was like noon. And then it was time to package, and literally it took hours to get these things packaged. Quite uh, a few hours. Yeah, and then we couldn't do any recording earlier because there was a storm, so we yeah. were doing other things, and it just, it's like, you, you, your day can easily get away from you, and if you are too strict on yourself for the requirements of what you want to do um, for that day, 
and you don't give yourself that flexibility and that leeway to just enjoy the day as much as possible, it is easy, it is easy to sit there and berate yourself and be like, I didn't do anything today. Yeah. I think it's important that if you prepave your day, if you're setting up your day and you're like, I feel ambitious and I feel whatever, and then uh, one little hiccup gets thrown your way and you're not able to commit to those things, to that long laundry list of things that you wanted to do, it's easy to like get feel really discouraged. And really then that carries on to the next day and the next day and the next day. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's get back to this mess. You guys have an awesome freaking what week. What mess? I'm turning my body this way uh, so I can look yeah. out the window. Yeah, okay. I adore <laughs> you guys. Adios. <laughs>